Good afternoon. Welcome to our webinar today. My name is Danny. I'm part of the educational staff in Avatrade. Before we begin, there is a disclosure that uh, we would like to read. So please confirm that you can hear me properly and you can see the screen here on the other end. You can comment in the question uh, section. All right, all right. Good to see you, Charles and Leonard and Kobus. Good to see you, Ryan. Okay, okay, Nicholas. All right, so we will begin with the uh, what will happen in the webinar, then I'm, I will give you 30 seconds to read the disclosure, and then we will begin, okay? All right, so uh, first we will go through, uh, now I'll explain what will happen in the webinar. First, we will go uh, to a quick introduction to Avatrade, what kind of facilities we offer, what services we have, as always in the beginning. Then in the second segment, we're going to go through basic functionalities uh, to understand what's the meaning of buy and sell and leverage and margin and uh, stop loss and take profit and some other pending orders. Uh, and if we'll have time, we'll speak a little about fundamental analysis on the third part. So first part is an introduction. Secondly, uh, basic functionalities. And the third part, if we'll have time, fundamental analysis. Uh, how it works, we're not going to dive down too uh, much because it's not the purpose of the webinar. This webinar is the ultimate webinar for beginners, but we will learn some advanced things as well if we'll have time. Okay, so now uh, I will show you the webinar, giving you roughly 30 seconds to read it. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure that the webinar is recorded, and this is a great time to say that the webinar is recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube later on for you to see again if you want in our uh, Avatrade channel on YouTube. Okay, so I will show you the disclosure, of course. Feel free to uh, to read it, and in 30 seconds I'll be back, and then we will begin. Okay. There is a request here to read. So I will read the first part just so we will be on the same page. Any capital markets and trading information is disclosed in this webinar is provided for informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice or recommendation or a suggestion. I hope it helped. Uh, Timothy, this is the disclosure. You can keep reading it for another 20 seconds, then we will begin. All right, so we are back. Uh, let's just open up an asset that will be a bit easier to explain. Uh, just a second. Mm, what could be interesting for you guys? What if what I do is I also want to diverse for you guys and not to show you the same things all over again so you can learn something new every time you, you join the webinar. It looks interesting. Okay, we're going to keep it this way uh maybe this maybe this will be better even better okay so we're gonna begin with the obviously in the beginning and like i said we're gonna have an introduction to avatrade uh many of you know we are founded in 2006 and we have nine licenses worldwide and our customer service team is working 24 6 through the live chat or through uh, direct email to cs at avatrade.com we have few platforms this one is the web trader uh, i'm going to show you in a second how i got to soybean out of the interface that i had initially okay beside the web trader we also have metatrader 4 or 5 in the app and in the web and we also have ava social which is a bit more social kind of a uh, platform rather than the regular cfds platforms that we are witnessing now. Uh, we also have other options 
that uh, for people who, of course, wants to trade options, you can find more information through the tab uh, trading platform in the avatrade.com. And in the welcome page, you have a tab at the top, trading platform, Ava options, and there you can even find a video with a, with a tutorial. Okay, it's very nice to see, expand your horizons, check new things. Okay, and like I said, Ava Social, the idea, this is a, a beautiful application that is for free uh, uh, for Ava users, which lets you follow other traders. You're a beginner and you still don't know exactly what's happening around you and uh, you're still trying to facilitate a strategy or you you just want to see how everything works how it's been done from the other end so of course you can follow somebody else who is already uh, doing it okay it's a great idea i suggest and you can even copy somebody else you can you you it's not just to follow somebody else you can even copy somebody else in exact what he's doing you can do exactly uh, as the same, of course, you need the same amount and the same lot size, etc. Uh, but like I said, it's free, so I suggest uh, to recommend it and see how it looks. Okay, so beside our social, beside our uh, protect, which I'm going to show you now before let's put down soybean at the moment, our protect is for currencies, silver, and gold. So now we're going to open up silver and we're going to put here put here 100 units. Okay. And we are going to show you in a second how Ava trade really works and the idea behind Ava protect is very simple really. Okay, the idea behind Ava Protect is practically to cover a position. Okay, and if your position, if you lost money during coverage, you will get back your losses. Of course, I will explain what it means. Let's suppose that we will, uh, let's see, question here from Jaden uh, yes I will I will speak about I will speak about margin in a, in a later stage in in a few minutes but first uh, but it's a good question okay thank you Jaden so this is the like I said the idea with our protect is to protect the position in other words I can choose the time what, by the way I didn't do anything special just clicked here and everything appeared Okay, and if I want to change from one hour to one day, I can do so. Let's suppose we would like to change to one day till uh, till tomorrow at this time, uh, 100 units of silver, that's 0 0.01. And we were gonna change the price here to, let's say, this is one day, let's suppose half a dollar should be good. Let's make it, this much and this guy we're gonna make it that much okay and now we are with a buy let's make it even more interesting let's make it more interesting okay now now what we see here okay What we see here, guys, is just a second, is the option of what can happen, right? The open price is 25.1. Close, we're, happen we're hoping to close at this rate. Okay, uh, potential loss will be Okay, I'm sorry, George, if it's too fast, but I'm just, this is, don't, first of all, you can see the webinar again. Secondly, I'm just explaining about our protect. I'm not teaching anything yet. It's just, uh, uh, just don't, don't worry. If you're confused, it's, 
it's legitimate uh 25.790 okay so the scenario here is very very simple okay we are all hoping for a buy that means that we're buying here hoping that it will get to uh, just a second let's make it what was the take profit 790 that's right around here okay all right now what is written here is um what is written here is the potential profit which is 60 uh, 630 and potential loss of 580 and moving okay now that actually means that if we're taking a buy now okay at this price and it gets all the way to here which it's been yesterday okay we are going to make six hundred and thirty dollars okay with a fee of 208 okay this fee will be paid anyway okay it will be paid anyway even if we make profits or loss but the idea is if we pay 208 and things go sideways to here right to this area 24.5 that means we're going to lose potentially $600. Now, I guess most of you will agree with me that it's better to pay $200 to get $600 back rather than to pay uh, nothing and to lose the $600. Of course, I have to say that when the, the coverage is, uh, is ending, you will definitely see it in a different segmentation. You will see the fee, you will see the loss, you will see the position. It's not going to uh, subtract. We're not going to subtract the losses from the fee. You will see the fee that you are paying, you will see the losses that you had. And of course, if you've made profits, you'll see the profits and the fee. Okay, very, very simple. The idea here is super simple. And still, I wanted to explain to understand uh, so we can understand the logic. I want to see questions. Anyone has any question? Yes, of course. Uh, you cannot expand the uh, question from Reem. Will we get this webinar recorded? The answer is yes. Since I missed the first part, there was the first part. Reem is actually what we're doing now. So you had first of all, you had, you you didn't miss it, and secondly, yes, the webinar is recorded. You can find it on YouTube on our channel at Avatrade. How do you decide how long to set the protect for coming from ruin the lange uh the thing is ruin that you have to choose what suits to your strategy for instance we're going to see today how we potentially aim to make money during the week of course if i'm planning to make money during a week it would make sense for me to use a weekly protection however the maximum is the maximum is two days at the moment so Obviously, when I changed it, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but when I change the yes, the answer is yes. We're going to discuss some strategies, but in the level that is suitable for my audience. I'm not going to teach anything advanced uh, right now at this point in time. I'm going to teach basic things and then we're going to go vertically. OK, but the, the your question is good. How can I decide? How long to use my my uh, the protection? Basically, if I use it for two days and I'm aiming to make a certain amount during a week, let's suppose that I want this position to happen in a week, right? But this could be a little far fetched because this happened yesterday, right? This thing it dropped almost a dollar, maybe more than a dollar. I'm not gonna do the calculations in exact, but it dropped a dollar. No, there is no guarantee that it will get to this. Uh, point however even if it got into this point okay so that means i'm still gonna make money though i'm still gonna make uh let's see one point five okay i'm still gonna make money anyway right so 
I don't have to use a stop loss. Still, I'm going to get the positions. Uh, I, I'm still going to get my losses back. But keep in mind that if you don't use a stop loss and it go further than the stop loss point, you're not going to get the uh, remaining losses. You're only going to get the partial amount which w you, you were covered in, right? Only the particular day. And another thing, you cannot extend a coverage on a position. So in other words, if we covered this position till today at this time, we would like to expand that is not doable okay you have to recreate the position with the coverage otherwise you cannot expand the coverage all right so that's enough for our protect for now i'm gonna carry on uh any 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 more inputs any insights guys this is the chance otherwise i'm not going to speak about our protect at this uh, session today no, unfortunately, uh, thank you for uh, the question, Clive. This is not, a, it's only currencies, silver and gold, okay, at the moment. We're gonna, in the future, perhaps we'll open for more various contracts, but for now it's, uh, okay. Now let's bring up, okay. So for now, let's see that we are done with the intro. Okay, we've talked about everything we wanted in the intro. There is another division that uh, gives information about the market that is called Trading Central. And if we'll have time, we'll speak about it as well. But right now, we're going, guys, to get down to business. And this is what everybody's been uh, waiting for. Okay, now, what we looked at uh, just a minute ago was soybean, if I'm not mistaken. And to get to soybean, I have to either type down here soybean and just click it and it will appear. Or I can search through the categories. Now. As you can see here, we have uh, favorites, hot, most rising, etc. categories, right? Forex, if I click here, I see another subcategory with majors and crosses and very interesting things. Uh, and then we have indices and we have cryptos, which are the aliens of the past decade. Uh, we also have the agriculture, agriculture, energies and metals. And if I want soybean, that will probably be found in agriculture. Okay, that may make sense. The reason that uh, why is that important? This is this is not related to the basics, okay? But I'll give you some uh, some interesting tip for regarding analysis. Usually, because this is CFD's contract for a difference. Let me put down here. We are already starting to touch uh, the things that are educational, so we're going to put it down. So we have groups of assets, right? Or perhaps of contracts. Never mind, never mind. We're not gonna put it down. We have groups of contracts, okay? Each group shares something in common. And uh, of course, if I know what happens with, let, let, let's say uh, wheat and corn and soybean, perhaps because they're all commodities, right? And they're all perhaps affected by weather or demand and supply. So maybe they're share, they share something in common. So if I'm trading soybean, perhaps I have some insights for wheat and corn. Just as an example, it's not a rule 100%, but of course it's, it's, uh, it's, it's important to know those things. And same apply for stocks, just as an example. You can notice that if you look at the, at the stocks, right? You look at some technology stocks like, um, let's say Intel perhaps, might be rising right and if you find more technology stocks you might find it that there is a, a correlation okay let's see how much time we have okay i don't want to delay too much on this maybe we'll speak about it at the end we'll bring up soybean and start to work by the way the way that i expanded i just clicked here and then of course the screen have uh, has changed Okay, we'll begin with the basics or I can search here. This is another it's a box that we added recently. Okay, those are candlesticks, Japanese candlesticks. As you can see, each candle has a different shape. This guy looks a bit more like a real candle. This guy more look like a, perhaps a, a hammer, right? This one looks like a, this is a reversed hammer. Uh, what else we've got here? This could be a butterfly maybe needs a bit more push of, of this cube. Never mind. So candlesticks, different shapes, different meanings. And we will see in a second how it has an impact on the trading. 
Now, if I change the time, it changed obviously the sh shape of the chart and it shape the it changed the uh, time frames that we are uh, looking at. In other words, if I'm looking at the course here, right? If I change, if I point on the candles, nothing comes out. If I click here on the course here with the cross and the horizontal and the vertical line, something happens. What happens? You see the information here, which is presented when I just hover each and every candle. Now this justify what I said just a minute ago with the times. If I look at here, this is yesterday, this is today, this is two days ago, this is the weekend, right? Holiday here. So 14th, 13th, 12th, etc. etc. Now, why do I need to know how to analyze candle six? And I cannot have fun with this guy, which looks much more creative. Look how nice. Red and green and gray and also, I can indicate that it's, what's the difference? Here, I look at the candles. I see that it's heading up. Right? And here, if I look at the line, what a surprise. It's heading up. What's the difference in candlesticks? Why do we need candlesticks? Yeah? Why do we need candlesticks, guys? Why not the line? What's the difference? Here is a line, higher candlesticks. What's the difference? Candlesticks gives more information. And that suits to what we are going to do now, which means goal. Everybody knew that it will come down to this. Okay, goal. And we have time. This particular uh, time will be, let's say, three days. Okay, movements, units, and the amount is something I will put in a second. Now, guys, I want you to see something very interesting. If this would be a room, this would be a room, okay? So I have a room with a floor and a ceiling. Now, there are an edge point on the chart, edge points on the chart, which are support and resistance. Okay. Actually, actually today I think we're gonna go with an example for a sell rather than with a buy. Okay. And then we're gonna put this guy here. Okay, we're gonna put this guy here and we're gonna see that the price now, which is 1721, uh, we are aiming for a sell. This is a, a very, very basic thing, but I just want to explain the uh, beginners here. Obviously, when something is relatively expensive, we would like to sell. And when it's something is cheap, we would like to buy, okay? Now, how can we sell something that we never had? Guys, how can I sell something? I can take a sell now. How can I take a sell without having the position? That that never, how can, how is that possible? Can I sell somebody something I don't have? No, I have to acquire it first then to sell it. But that's the whole idea with a contract for difference. Contract for difference for C of these, right? We are only trading on the position of the value and not the asset itself, okay? Which lets us buy and sell freely because this is what the platform is offering. 
Nevertheless, we have leverage that we're going to speak about, a margin that we're going to mention, and it's going to be very informative. Now the goal is going to be $100. Guys, we're going to go humble this time. I know usually I'm aiming for a bigger amount, but today we're going to go conservative. So movements, how can we know what, how many movements to expect? I want to see more answers. I want to see more answers. I only get answers from people who are already, that I know the names, I recognize the names. I want to see more, more answers. How can we know how many movements should we expect? How can I, if I tell you guys that I think soybean is going to move, um, let's say, $100 by tomorrow, okay? Is that is that possible, $100 for soybean to move $100 by tomorrow? Is that, let's make it extreme. Possible for soybean to move $500 in a day you guys five hundred dollar in a day look at the chart those are days right let's make it even a month for the sake of the for for fun okay we are now 1720 this is 500 is right around here i guess let's see how many months it took it right one, two, three, four, five, half a year. Half a year it took it. Can it happen in a day? More answers, guys. If if I don't see more answers, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know to uh, what level of information to give you because this is a webinar for beginners. And I only see answers from uh, Ruin and Rachel and Summer. Uh, more answers. Is that possible? It is possible. Okay, no, it can't happen in a day. Give it, Davy. Good. What else? James, anything can happen in the financial market. That's the most politician answer that I. <laughs> anything can happen is true, but we are. Let 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 me rephrase. Is that statistically doable to happen? No. Now, it's fine that you are lost, Guido. What I'm asking here is, we are aiming to make hundred dollar in three days. Okay, potentially $33, $33 on average per day. Now, to statistically, no. Okay, thank you, Davey. So we are aiming for a specific amount. I can't compose a position unless I know what to expect. And to expect, I have to measure, right? Those are daily candles. Each guy here is one day. And I want to know how much dollars in movement I should expect. Because if my entry is here, 1720, I need to know where to aim, right? I think in a second, I'm going to speak about retracement, but I think that it potentially can move from 1720 to 1710, okay? In three days, those are, each, each of those are days. Now, do you think it can move $10 in three days? Can soybean move ten dollar in three days can that happen guys many many yeses many yeses from summer from seeing sando cobus albert very nice very nice very nice what else okay very nice rim clive Okay, how do you guys justify that it's possible? Because all we have to do is just to look at what happened yesterday. And what happened yesterday is, and what happened yesterday is open 1714, right? You see this guy, look, look at here, look at this area. I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, and now we have the open, close, high, and low, which is already have passed 
ten dollars in a day if it can move ten dollar in a day of course it has potential to move ten dollar in, in three days of course it makes sense so to make a hundred dollar let's make it four days though because it's easier to uh, okay so to make a hundred dollar in four days of course how so we are expecting ten dollars so if we're planning to make a hundred dollar with ten ten dollar movement ten dollar change in price okay how many units do we need how many units do we need guys if i want to make a hundred dollar okay and i'm and i'm expecting ten dollar movement how many units do we need how many 10 you say and 10 is the absolute answer yes who said 10 let's see here yes summer Ungiwa davy very nice george very nice ah good to see you good to see you okay alex now let's see we put here 10 that's very close to 100 which suits to our plans and we've already uh, made sure that it's doable which is great and now after all of these steps right by the way uh, i i almost forgot to mention that you have indicators here right if you click on the study and you put here you can say all in your bands just as an example click and drag then you click save and it appears okay now and of course the lines that i've placed i just uh, clicked here on the line i can place it where, wherever i want and amazing okay now now after uh, let's see leonard but looks the weeks it was a hell of a yes 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 that's true that's true so guys after we've picked an asset and we have designed a position that makes sense we're planning to make a hundred during four days ten dollars definitely potential uh, for soybean to move we figured that and we have two ten units to acquire okay very very well now we have to make sure we have the right balance now guys this is a simulator account a hundred thousand is definitely not something not an ordinary not every ordinary person can deposit a hundred thousand we're gonna uh, pretend that we have only two thousand dollars balance okay now is two thousand dollar enough to sell off soybean how can we tell we looked at here we do this and then we'll look at the value and understand whether if it's doable Okay. Now, what's the value? Seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. Can we sell something that cost seventeen thousand, right? With two thousand, right? No, we can't. No, we can't. Nobody can buy a car that costs a hundred thousand dollars with ten thousand dollar in his pocket, unless he gets a loan now okay who said that ruin not even with leverage but that sir is exactly what I, that's the secret that i was about to reveal that since we're trading cfds we have leverage in all of the positions and because we have leverage the the margin impact is only 10 percent out of the value how so because let me show you that if we divide 17 uh, 200 by 17 point uh, 1720 the answer is 10. so if we take the value divided by margin impact equals 
leverage. Or if we divide 100 by leverage equals margin requirement, right? The requirement is a percentage out of the uh, out of the value, right? That means that this uh, 17k is not something that I have to have in my balance. I can actually have only 10% of that, which is this number, right? Now the question is, guys, okay? Is that a good thing to to take a position using 10% of the margin? Uh, using sorry, not 10% of the margin. Uh, let's say roughly 70 75%, I believe. I believe that this is roughly 75%, right? A little more than that, maybe 80, 80%, right? Something like that. Even more, 85%. Okay, 85%. The question is, the question is, I'm, I'm getting to that. I, I, I promise you, promise you, I'm getting to that in a minute. The question is, if using 85% of my margin on a single position is a safe thing. Guys, is, is that safe to, to do that? To occupy 85% uh, of our margin to a single position just, just, just to make a $100? There are many, many no's. Season death, no, Bongiwa, no, Summer, Ruin, Davy, James, okay, Alexa. Now, why are you guys saying that it's not safe? Obviously, because if we're occupying so much margin, what can uh, happen with our account at the end of the day? We don't have what happens. Obviously, it's not it's not a safe thing to do. Question is, what happens if I don't have enough margin? Why 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 can't I use 80 85 percent? Why is that so bad? I mean, it's I still have money left, right? What happens if I don't have enough margin? What's the whole purpose? Why am I bothering teaching you leverage and margin and who cares? That's not, it's not, you, you owe the broker, it's not really, it's not, you, you can't get into minus on the account. You can't have a debt on, on the account, right? Major risk. Okay, but I, I, I need to know, if, if let's suppose I took this position, one position, okay? I occupy 85% of my margin. Can I take another one? Can I take another position using another 85% of my margin. Can I do that? Exactly. Exactly. Which makes me vulnerable. And if I'm vulnerable, I can lose and I don't have any grip on what's happening with my positions. So always to make sure that the margin, this is the true meaning. If you have the margin in the safe level, you can do what we call diversification. You can take more positions if you want. You can also sustain your current position. If your margin is occupied 100%, you have no other options, okay? If you don't have margin to do something, if I don't have enough margin in here, if I had, for instance, this much, I couldn't even have the position in the first place. You see? Now. Now, that's enough about the margin and the... Uh, any questions, by the way, before I carry on? I just want to carry on. Are there any questions regarding the leverage and the, and the margin? This is quite imperative. I mean, if you're a beginner and you don't know those things, uh, you can accidentally wipe out a big chunk of, out, of the, out of the account. So, questions regarding this? What is the solution? Okay, 
the solution the solution before i give you the solution what do you think you, you who is that summer a began man what do you think would be the solution instead of occupying 85 percent of your margin what can we do else rather okay then we said what can we do different two thousand dollars we said invest in lower percentages that's true charity please did we say in an uptrend we short the market i'm not sure what that means is that possible to open a successful position with 200 dollars guys those questions are probably great but they're way way out of topic it's something else guys the solution here Okay, the solution here, what happens if I minimize this to five? How much do I make? $50, $50 instead of 100, okay? And then I occupy instead of 80%, I occupy half, right? You can see here half. And then I can, I can take another position, two instead of one, okay? Will it be safer? Okay. What, what would I rather, make 50 or lose a big chunk of my account? This comparison is part of risk money management guys what is risk money management risk money management is not that not necessarily if you have enough margin to make a position it's not if you have the ability it's if you should use this ability to take the position like we said we can practically we can if we can with with 2000 if we can we definitely can that's absolutely uh, true but if we should, that's a different matter. That's a different matter. If we should take the position, right? So we're gonna minimize this to $50 instead of 100. We're gonna make the units five instead, and we're gonna keep the movements. Now, the question here, we're aiming to make $50, right? Do you think 1730 would be a good place for a stop loss? First of all, let's understand what stop loss even means. I mean, stop loss, who knows what stop loss is? Who knows what pending orders are? We're gonna go back to risk money management, guys. Don't worry. Pending orders, are they mandatory, right? Okay, why do I need pending orders, guys? Why can't I do anything, everything manually? And that's it just to do everything on the spot i want to sell i'm selling now I want to buy i'm buying now i have a position i want to let go I, I let go now what's the benefit using pending orders see here consumes a lot of time i agree with you what else being more safe how can you be more safe let's see mongiwe pending orders trigger when you reach the price you want exactly exactly limits is your losses what beautiful answers here so what we 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 understand that pending orders are actually us on the chart waiting for the chart to get to a certain number in other words 1710 it's what i what we i uh, i want to sell so i want to get to 1710 that means that if it gets to 1710 what will happen i collect the funds right i make how much 60 not bad right and more than that if i don't want to buy here 1720 i think i'm vulnerable right let's suppose that this tail here let's see how much time we have left 
Oh, I can speak about a uh, retracement. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I'm very proud of you. Today, we've made a lot, a lot of progress in a short time. So I have time to explain to you the reason why hypothetically I took a sell rather than a buy. Okay, but let, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, and let me ask you, what this thing, just a second, Okay. Okay. What do we see in this bubble? What do we see here in the bubble? Okay. This is a bullish trend, guys. This is a bullish trend. This is a bullish trend. What we see here? Yes, Alfred. This is part of analysis, but what I said before is risk money management. Don't worry. I'm 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 getting to that. I'm getting to that. I promise you. I just promised before to give a little a little word about analysis because every every webinar we're uh, we're looking for time for those things. So don't worry. I'm getting back to risk money management in a second. What what is that, guys? What are those tails? Nice little tails that we have here, right? See at the end at the end of the candles, we have some tails. What are those tails? Here there is a big one. What are the what are those tails? Those tails. Okay, I'll give another five seconds because I see many, many answers and I want to give the right one. So I'll give you another five seconds to give your answers and then I will I will explain. Of course, the movement for that day, that's true. But what are those tails, right? Extreme points and outlines, right? Weak the laugh of the fight. Okay. Guys. This tail is this the, the tails are points that the asset has been and gone back. It's been through the price, but it went back. Let me show you. This is we said one day, right? We said that this is one day. I'm saying that it got into this point higher, lower, higher, lower. Okay, let's look deeper. Let's look deeper. How do I look deeper, by the way? Smaller time frame. Hours. Okay. Look how nice things are. Look. Went up, got into this point, went down a little. Went up, got into this point, got down a little. Went up, got down a little. Look, it got it got back to 1705. Now this line here. here it's point it's a point that it couldn't break can you can you look how uh, if you can notice how how lovely uh, maybe i can how can i show it to you guys look how lovely this point is 1727 uh, it's been here yesterday it couldn't break it right yesterday twice Today also, and it got in back, right? Let's look at the weekly, uh, look at the daily ones. This point, it's been on the 23rd. A month ago, couldn't break it as well. 24th, couldn't break it as well, right? And this is also this this guy over here. So it couldn't break it. So what do we understand if there is a point on the chart that it keeps getting to that point, but it doesn't surpass that point? What do we understand from this? Okay. What do we understand if an asset has gotten to a certain point and every time it got into this point, it turned around? Who said resistance? Bongiwe. Bongiwe, Mr. Bongiwe Sime. This is very, very precise. This is the, the definition of resistance resisting the chart from going any higher. And the support is the other way around. In other words, what does that contribute to me in analysis terms? 
what does that contribute to me to know that there is a resistance that been rejected few times by the way it's been rejected uh, multiple times right what does that help uh, me understand right what what does that mean why do i need to know the resistance who care about the resistance okay but i need a bit more precise interpretation that it can go down it's a point to turn around thank you very much thank you very much dinesh this is a precise answer that it's potential to turn around this is exactly what i was looking for so what you're telling me dinesh is exactly exactly what you're saying Dinesh, is that at this point i can expect soybean to turn around in other words i can place it or an order to sell here and if it turns around like it's been here and it's been here and it's been here so i can take this cell more comfortably right because it makes sense of course there it's not a formula i can take a cell and it will go higher but i'm saying if it statistically goes down again it's great for me to take now, if I don't use a pending order, I have to stay on the chart and wait until it gets there. If I'm using a better pending order, all I have to do is I put here 20, uh, 17, 27. And when, I, and when I click sell, what will happen? It's just going to take my sell, you understand, without me being uh, even being here. That's, that's, that's the idea. That's just how it works. So 27, yeah, of course, the, the stop loss uh, needs to make sense. So we're going to lift it this point beyond the resistance. Uh, but again, I can this way I can optimize the price. I can instead of selling now, which is in the middle, which is still rising, I can sell it. Uh, uh, where was my price? 1727. And it will actually trigger in a better price, better entry for me giving me more time to maneuver during the fluctuations. But if I sell here, it still can get to this point. Does it make sense? It's a bit advanced. I'm sorry if for, for my beginners. I'm sorry if, if it doesn't sink fully because like I said, I, I just, uh, I just to, I had to give something for my advanced clients. I see the same names here and I'm teaching the, uh, the basics, but this is, this is an actual practical, a uh, tip okay so we're gonna carry on to risk money management i whoever understood i'm happy whoever i still see here some question marks i'm sorry i can't explain it any uh, farther than that okay we're gonna go back to uh, risk money management and now if we're planning to make 50 which is 5 multiply 10 and we hypothetically planning to buy at 1727 we're expecting 1717 which is 1727 minus 10, of course, to make 50, like I said. And our potential loss is 1727. We said potential loss 17, let's say 37, and we're planning to lose 50. Now, my question is, by the way, do you think that if I do this, it's a, a good place for a stop loss or not? If I put here, just beyond the resistance. Do you guys think it's a good place for a stop loss? Potentially losing, potentially losing. All right, just did it in my head, but I don't think I've made a mistake. Guys, losing two and a half percent only out of two thousand dollars is that a good uh, is that a smart risk management? Can we survive if we if we lose fifty dollar out of two thousand? Is that can we is that manageable or it's going to devastate the account? Thank you, George. Well manageable. Okay, Albert as well. Supporting it, Summer ruin okay so this is a composition that makes sense what would happen if i put it here by the way let's suppose i put it 
uh, let's say here. Okay, or maybe we'll go extreme. We'll make it 1760. 1760, yes. Potential loss would be uh, 24 to 27. That means 31. Let's do this real quick. Okay, so if if I place it farther because I want to be safer or because I just want it to be farther, is that still okay or it's a bit uh, 165, that's three times as much. Is that still okay or? Or not seven and a half percent in a single position. Ruin is asking, can it go that high past resistance? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. But but again, I'm just I like to when I'm teaching, I like to give a bad example and a reasonable example, and then you have a place for comparison. If I just show the right thing all the time without asking questions and making comparison. So of course, nobody will learn. I'm just feeding you information without any explanation and that's futile, okay? Uh, all right, let's see how much time we have left. And of course, take profit works exactly the same way. I hope you understood, right? If I place it, uh, take profit 1717, I bought at 1727, I make the say it's, it's still gonna trigger. It's exactly the same uh, idea as stop loss. What is a safe value to expect loss at percentage wise? That's exactly that's exactly what we discussed just now. Most of my audience like to expose two out to five, two out out uh, up to five percent. More than that is considered uh, less cautious, and of course, ten percent or more is even less cautious, etc. Okay, guys. Apparently, in two minutes, three minutes, two minutes, we are. Uh, done for today, but we have talked about everything we wanted to talk, margin and leverage and comparison, and we've looked at soybean and we have composed the position that makes sense. We talked about risk money management. We talked about support and resistance. We've made comparison in the units. So we we saw how to be less vulnerable and we minimized the hundred dollar to a 50. But of course we can take just another position uh, if we want to make more money. Guys, two minutes. I'm giving you last opportunity to ask more questions. Go ahead and ask anything you'll ask. If I can answer, I will answer. Uh, can can it happen that you owe additional money with leverage? The answer is no, Ruin. There is no possibility for you to owe anything uh, to the uh, platform. Okay. What will happen is your you'll be closed. If you don't have enough margin, your position will be closed. That's the scenario that can happen, but you, you will not owe the platform if, if this is what you're asking. Um, there is a question here from Clive. Can you recommend a particular asset? Absolutely not. I cannot uh, recommend you an asset, but I can tell you that if you find assets, uh, if you find an asset that is what that is trend is visible, that is much more preferable than an asset that is volatile and it's difficult for you to analyze. Uh, are you a beginner? Do you have experience or you joined uh, as a beginner? As a beginner, okay. So what I suggest Clive is you'll find yourself an asset, one good asset that you can analyze and evolve with. And then once you have the asset that you have visible trend and your accuracy is good, then you can evolve not necessarily to find an asset that you can make uh, big money with. Okay, first of all, educate yourself up to a level that it's not necessarily to make money, but just to understand it. Just to understand and get better, and then later on you can pick assets that are, uh, let's say, that has more fluctuations. Okay, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope everybody has understood uh, Everything I said, I hope beginners has much clearer view and now can carry on, make a deposit and start moving. Uh, and that's it. It's been a pleasure.
it's good to it's good to see it's good to see that people are enjoying and i will see you in uh, next wednesday so have a beautiful day and best of luck with trading